In this video, we're going to show you how to do end of month volume reporting for an open pit mine excavation. Starting in the main graphics layer, you want the open pit model for last month. Then in a new layer, drag in the latest month's new pickup. The different layers will help you visualize where you're going to trim and clip your model. The next step is to change the color of this month's pickup to a color you can easily distinguish. In this case, we're going to use string eight, which is red. So now you can easily distinguish between the two different months. And make sure all of your clipping is carried out in the main graphics layer. So when clipping, stay as close to the red outline as possible. And later on, we're gonna clean up all of the leftover segments and strings. This process is going to make it easier to splice the two months pickups together to form one model. Once you're finished, press the escape key and then apply and everything inside your boundary will be clipped. You're essentially left then with a hole in your original pickup. This is preparation to join the two models together. Then make sure you save both strings as one. So now you've got a lot of leftover strings and segment pieces where you will want to clean them up and correctly splice the two models together. The next step is to create a fast temporary DTM over the top of your model. We can use this to better see what's going on. And right here you can see there are some issues where we need to break some of these strings, then rejoin them, and again create another DTM of the top. Once you've done a number of edits, save your model as a string, not a DTM, and repeat the process again. And you may need to do this a number of times until you get the correct results. Once you're happy with your model, save your final string file and then move on to the next step, which is to create a permanent DTM. Before we do the DTMs, we are going to create a common boundary string 
which we will then use for each of our models including the natural surface. Give the boundary string a unique number, in this case it's 88. Now you can drag in your newly created boundary string as a check. Now you're ready to create a permanent DTM, clip it and then save it. So this is the model for last month's pickup. As you can see, we're keeping the original boundaries and only introducing the new common boundary. This then needs to be saved as one model. Again, make sure you clip and save each DTM. And same again for the third one, which is the natural surface pickup. Drag in the common boundary string and save it as one string. and throw a DTM over the top of this, clip it and save. So the third step is to generate your volume reports. For each one, make sure you nominate your common boundary string. The first report will give us a total pit volume from the natural surface. Enter the results into your spreadsheet and we are going to compare and check these later on. Again for the second volume report, nominate your common boundary string. This report is giving us a total volume between the two DTM models and as you can see it's the same result as the first volume report. The final report is going to give us a volume from a section model. For this we are going to create an axis from north to south and then we're going to get the coordinates of the two points of this axis line. To create a section model click on create DTM from sections name your two DTMs Use the same common boundary string. And for this one, we're going to take sections at every 0.5 meter intervals.
the next screen will ask you for your axis coordinates and make sure you enter them from north to south. Now your section model has been created. We're going to use this to give us volumes at various elevations. To get your volume, go to surfaces, volumes by elevations from sections. In this window, find your section model. Then enter your minimum and maximum RLs at every 5 meters. This final report will give us a volume at every 5 meter elevation taken from the section model. And the last step is to enter all of these values into your spreadsheet and compare the results. Finally, check to see if all of your volume totals equal the same value.